The last little, now nah, just maybe two sips. Beach. A marvel millions of years in the making. Where the womb of earth chaotically meets the surface. Under a clean blue sky. An expanse of bliss. But beneath grey rolling clouds an endless enigma. The easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found. One can only build a sand castle where the sand is wet. But where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will it gently lick at your foundation until you give in? Or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same. Yet, we still build sand castles. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle, yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foamy tendrils. Turn back, and I abandon my peace to erode at the shore. Drift forward, and I return to Earth forevermore. So, this is once again like the same thing the last last one was. Um, like, uh, the, 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 this is kind of kind of tough. This, this, mm, mm, this really, really is. Uh, kind of tough so the thing is um like the easiest world to get lost in is one where everything can be found naturally if um if you can have everything at the same time um why would you ever leave uh, wherever you are right now so that's like com completely natural and um yeah yeah at the same time at the same time this uh, poem tells us that there is no such thing as like a world where everything can be found. I mean, if we want to buy a sand castle just like this, uh, we have to use wet sand. And when the sand is wet, of course, the tide will come and sooner or later wash away our fucking sand castle. But it doesn't matter to us because, like, we want to build this castle anyway because it makes us happy or whatever reason. So we build this castle. And then, like, <laughs> we just sit there while the tide, like, licks our foundation just like a... Uh, in this thingy so um the meaning is kind of like uh, e everything cool everything like smart beautiful or whatever we do um might just be temporary because if it wasn't um why would it be so beautiful this it's like i, I mean there, there might be a saying I, I can't really quite recall now but um beauty the like the most beautiful thing about beauty it's that beauty will cease, like, will cease to be beauty sooner or later. Well, if we take a, a human, for example, while you're young and fresh, of course, you, you're you looking like a young god. But, like, sooner or later, this uh, this beauty, this, this young attire, this young face will fade. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm, like, a philosophical belcher, so every time I philosophize i bet <laughs> so um beauty like the only the only like the only reason we can say hey look she's beautiful is because we know in 10 years this beauty will be faded away completely and um, the beauty is gone so some people say that's why beautiful things are beautiful because they are just like temporary kind of so and i, I think um this poem follows uh, the same like philosophy kind of that like we do shit um because we know that this shit is uh, um is not for eternity um yeah kinda maybe you will see she'll tell us something about her poem naturally so let's get it on um i'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane inane thing to write about insane thing right or is inane something like innate 
Jetzt äh, Trollface. Äh, I can't even Trollface. Fuck off. Anyway. But I did my best to take a metaphorical approach to it. You say, <coughs> you say that like you didn't even want to write about it. Oh, you haven't heard? After yesterday, Natsuki and I, well, it was amusing, amusing <laughs> that we wrote about something similar in such different ways. So, Natsuki wanted us to write about the same topic as others as long as each other again. I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles and thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. But, well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. Mm -hmm. She decided to write about something simple, the beach, but somehow it's still a metaphorical piece about human life. Are you kidding? Oh, that just happened. Oh, I just blew your mind like this. Mm -hmm. Sorry, didn't mean to. <laughs> Fucking god, like. No. <clears throat> it's good for me to call my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. That was Coolio, that was really Coolio. She told us... Uh, I was hoping for a little more, like... Um, but as always, poetry, you know, or like a any kind of text is, uh, of course, su subjectively interpreted by everyone. Because we all have like different thoughts and we all come from different places in the world. And while I really like to like <laughs> tell you that uh, that doesn't make a difference, it does. It, it, it really does make a difference. Um, the way you're brought up, the way like the people you surrounded yourself with or still surround yourself with and like that's just part of growing up that um, our thinking patterns are like getting kind of uniqueified well depending on where you are if you're like a redneck motherfucker in bootleg florida or whatever you will probably will think the same way <laughs> all the 50 generations of brothers sister fathers you had like before you but uh, that's a topic for another day don't feel offended if you're a redneck man just don't hate people that's all i want and you can be the happiest redneck i don't fucking care you can fuck your sister i don't fucking care just don't like go around kicking colored people or people that are foreign or whatever man mm -mm, don't do this we all have a reason to stay here and especially the right to stay wherever we want so let's continue on to the not so serious topics and let's show our poem to Natsuki. So it seems she, uh, if what Yuri told us is, if Yuri is right, she will be writing about the beach too, and um, we can read it. So let's go. Mm. This one's all right. <clears throat> all right. Well, yeah, about as good as yesterday's anyway. I see what you're going for, but it's just not really my style. I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly just glad that you're trying a little bit. Well, of course, I'm at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems, anyway? Isn't uh, that more of a compliment to me? Eh? No, 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 gross. Ugh. It's not like I care. <laughs> it's just that one of us in this club has to make sure you're not slacking off. Really? Well, what if you ended up just scaring me away? Th th that's, um... It's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun to hang out here, even if I have to put up with you. Yeah. Natsuki's elbow connects with my stomach. Oh, maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. I uh, was just uh, okay. No, oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. Ah. Hmm. How the hell do you call that a joke? That seriously hurt. Well, maybe it was funny to her. I guess that's kind of the point. I should really just watch my mouth around Natsuki. Anyway. Natsuki holds a poem out to me like nothing even happened. Oof. Oof. So. Uh, without further ado, I present to you Natsuki's poem about the beach. <clears throat> I'll be your beach. 
Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that dimini diminished your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight. A sea that sparkles with brilliant light. The walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. Go glow. But like, that's not really a rhyme scheme of us. Yeah! I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap. In a way, you thought had left you long ago. Ah, I... Sorry, guys. <laughs> it's hard at times, it really is. Let's bury your heavy... Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand. Bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea. And let me see your shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail. Set you free in my windy sail. And remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. Ooh, that's loot. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you dream blah, that you dream ah, that I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you dream Junge, boy, why the fuck is Daydream giving me so much trouble? <laughs> I can. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. But if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you learn to love yourself again. So, um, there's a few Coolio rhymes in there, as you might have heard, I've uh, <laughs> given it my all to like rhyme them, um, but like on every rhyme there's um, a rhyme that's not really a rhyme, so usually a rhyme scheme is like A, B, B, A, so A rhymes with A and B rhymes with B, or there's A, B, A, B, or there's, well, you know, you, you get that shit, you've had that in school, just like I did probably back in the day, and um, that's like a really, um, yeah, really like, like, ra random scheme, so I, I think that really, really fits this little, uh, <laughs> little stomach, uh, elbow checking, uh, a, a girl, kinda, this, this style of rhyming, and then not rhyming, just for the sake of it, so I, I think that really, it really fits this character, and um, yeah, this poem, of course, like, I'll be your beach, like, because, because the beach is so beautiful, and you can relax, and I'll be your beach, if you press your lips to mine, blah, 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 will be the beach, and she'll make my heart leap, and so on and so forth, so this is like, a, a really happy, reassuring, um, kind of poem, poem thingy, um, and yet it's, it's cool, it's happy, it's, uh, unlike most of the things we've seen so far, but like, yeah, let's see what she has to talk, uh, has to say about it herself. Yeah. <clears throat> I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Oh, besides, the beach was awesome. Kinda hard to write anything negative about the beach. Well, Yuri's take on it was a little more solemn. <clears throat> well, that's... Jeez, she better not have said anything bad about mine. After all, she was the one who wanted us to write about the same topic. Ugh, you can really <laughs> see her doing that, too. Making us write about a simple topic and trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical, too. But there's nothing wrong uh, with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. Um, that's true. That's true, I can't say anything about it now. The topic of the day, Sayori, what's wrong with you? Can we help? Maybe this poem makes you happy? Mm -hmm. mm. This is your best one so far. <clears throat> it's really nice, Wicked. Yeah, thanks. Mm. Sayori, you've been a little quiet today. Is everything alright? Mm, yeah, uh, of course. Uh, everything is fine. Maybe I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> Do you want a nap or something? Uh, 
No, 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 that's silly. Don't worry about me, okay? I only want to see smiles on your face. Well, alright. Hey, Wicked. I'm still a little surprised. I really thought that you would try writing your poem like the way Yuri does. Or even Natsuki, but in the end? Yeah, I guess you're the one who likes this one the most. But why? You don't want to get closer with everyone else? No, wait! Of course I do, but it doesn't mean I need to try so hard to impress them. I still understand you the most, Sayori. I know you have to sometimes put up with me, <clears throat> and I have to sometimes put up with you. But we have a wavelength or something, and this is how the poem came out. Sometimes... Listen to the music. Sometimes it feels like you're the only exciting thing in my life. So sometimes it's just easier to write when uh, thinking about you. S Sayori? And... Uh, oh! Uh, you know... Even though, I mean... I'm a man... And men don't show emotion... But... That being said, I'm still emotional. Especially if it comes to like... 2D shit, <laughs> or rather, especially anime shit, so, uh, no, no, no. just wanted to tell that to you. But, wait, wicked, I, yeah, I don't deserve this, you're too nice to me, ask, <laughs> stop saying this, man, why are you doing this? Sayori has trouble keeping her voice steady all of a sudden. If you had fun with everyone else instead, this would be... So much easier. S Sayori? I glance around the room to make sure nobody has noticed this. S Sayori, I have probably never said this before, but I don't understand what you're feeling right now. Tell me what will cheer you up. Sayori shakes her head. She sniffles and keeps shaking her head. Finally, she gathers herself and puts on a smile. <laughs> it's nothing. Wicked Osan. It's just a little rain cloud. I'm sorry you had to see that. <laughs> I promise it won't happen again. Just smiles from everyone, okay? That's all that matters. Go play with everyone else. I'm going to go home a little bit early today. S Sayori. S Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom, humming to herself. So, first off, um... I I said it in the fucking beginning. I said it in episode one, probably, if not two, three, four, five, whatever, in one of the earlier episodes in the first session. And, um, yeah. Uh, uh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Just like this game, Doki Doki, my heart was racing. <laughs> I love this shit, guys. I really do. This is my soap opera. This is this is my shape of water. All this this shit, man. My Fifty Shades of Grey. This is this speaks to me on an emotional level, man. Mm. That was fucking beautiful. Mm. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out? Mm, hold on a second. Uh, is it just me or did uh, you say something strange just now? Eh? So, something that sounded a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. Ca ca catchphrase? I don't have a catchphrase. Ah, jeez. Why is the mood so weird today? Look, even your isn't immune to it. Uh, hmm. So, stagnating as a common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Uh, it seems you're right. <sighs> Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to anyway? I thought uh, she just went to pee. Natsuki, please, 
show some decency. Ah, come on! Ah, <coughs> she actually wasn't feeling too well and uh, went home early. I is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So sad! <laughs> so much for you two being all lovey dovey. <coughs> no. First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayuri. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Ooh. <laughs> that curious, <coughs> that curious expression coming from Yuri of all people. Ah, calm down, guys. I, <coughs> I talked to her earlier, and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparations. So let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki so will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted! Hmm. And for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. These pamphlets, probably. This is probably what my buddy told me about. And no, not these. The, the pamphlets. Um, mm -hmm. Pay attention to the background uh, in the near future. Sayori so will help me design them. And as for Yuri, mm, Yuri, you can. Mm, um, eh. G guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? Mm, I, I'm, I'm useless. <laughs> no, 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 that's not it at all. You're the most talented person here, you know. Mm. No, 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 now Natsuki is pouting too. Jeez, even though I can tell now, I guess I never gave uh, Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh, that may be the case, but if I can also be a leader man, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know. I said that in the first episode too possibly. So, you should make some banners and decorations to upset the atmosphere. A atmosphere? Um, about that, I. <laughs> I love atmosphere! Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at the desk and, blah, 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 and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great. You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you wicked. The one who is truly useless. Ahaha, <laughs> don't say that. In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Um, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Uh, well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give to you. It's not like Monica's going to give me a choice and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Mm, if I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. Wicked may not like to be around if you only make him out to be a nuisance, so therefore, he may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Uh, uh, hold on, I never said that! How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Hmm? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for Wicked too. What are you saying? It will be extremely meticulous work. Mm. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Uh, guys, guys, let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to Wicked to decide how he'd like to contribute. Besides, he hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure he's interested in... <laughs> you literally just said... I'm surprised as well. Uh, so, so, sorry, sorry. I was just saying though. Jeez, can we just settle this already? Yeah. Wicked, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, uh, sure. 
Mm. Very well. In that case... Everyone looks straight at me. But of course I'm going to go with... Well... You know guys... This is... This is another of those... Uh, uh, of those... <laughs> fucked up... Fucked up decisions we have to make... Without knowing... What they will change. And um... I will not play through this again. I can I assure you this, not even on my own time without reading all the shit out loud. Um I won't be I, I won't be replaying this probably un unless there's something really whoa fucking uh, excuse me mind blowing out there, but um you know Baking for one yeah, sure, we can bake some fucking pancakes with a pink haired lolly. Ooh. Sure, we could do this. She'll probably just like. <laughs> punch us all the time and. Well, be it Sundera through and through and. And yeah. That's uh. I am not going to smoke, kids. Mm -mm. Never smoke. Mm. And yeah, Yuri. Yuri could be rather interesting i think um because we have um maybe we can have some influence on the background and i think um that this is what my buddy told me about like the atmosphere the decorations and the pictures in the background once the festival starts and um i wonder and monica well mm, to be quite real it's too easy like eh, we could never spend time with me so spend some time with me it's like, you know, you know, there's, there's men, and there's men, and, uh, and the man usually likes to, uh, well, conquer the woman, w whatever that woman, woman may be, no matter if, if she's just a friend or whatever, man, men have to triumph, Vinny, Vidi, Vicky, my friends, I came, I saw, I killed, <laughs> and I brought that woman home into my cave, <laughs> and so on and so forth, so, um, yeah, that's uh, that's not the easiest decision, but we're gonna cut here anyway for a second. Hopefully just for a second, so let me um, cut this right here. See you later.